All right, guys. So just a brief update here. We have finally reached into this weekly fair value gap right here. Okay. Um, because I'm bullish, I'm looking to enter longs within the vicinity and targeting buy stops above. Okay. That is what I'm anticipating and what I'm expecting as well. So heading down to the lower time frames. <clears throat> Well, um, obviously we do have this daily fair value gap right here. Okay, so when price reverses back up, I do not want to see any form of resistance right here. And do keep in mind that we do have SMT right here, high highs, right? And on the NASDAQ, it's um lower highs. And then we have the shift in market structure right here. Okay, so, Right now, it's not a good time to, um, how would you say? It's not a good time to call longer term targets like what we have above, right? I'll have to see direction and the weekly close of this week itself to determine. Okay, so um, that is what I have for now on the dollar. You do notice that right here we have not taken out this low yet okay on the daily time frame price is still retracing up into this balance price range here and here okay so it's a low probability environment right we do have equal lows right here and then at the same time the consequent encroachment of the monthly bc as well so if you look at the dollar versus the euro, on the weekly time frame, you can see that the euro has already taken out this high here. Okay, so possible SMT as well, but we, we need a market structure shift on the daily to confirm that. All right, so if we take a look at GPP. GP here, it's in synergy with the dollar, right? In I mean, symmetrical to the dollar. So this pair is correct, okay? But on the euro, it seems to be a little bit more bullish if we do not have a shift lower, okay? So that is what I'm looking at as well, right? So um, coming to the end of April, I would really like to see dollar tech this lows here. Okay, even even if it wants to reverse, I think right here first would be would be the best. Okay, for equities. Um yes, I would prefer here the buy stops here. That would be nice. And if we are to overextend, then we're gonna have the August highs. Okay, this is the long term weekly chart that I have right here. So, yeah, and that's it for this video right now. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Good luck trading.